She's dominated Scottish politics for almost a decade. Good morning. But today, Nicola Sturgeon dramatically Hello. quit. Since my very first moments in the job, I have believed that part of serving well would be to know almost instinctively when the time is right to make way for someone else. And when that time came, to have the courage to do so, even if to many across the country and in my party, it might feel too soon. In my head and in my heart, I know that time is now. She said she'd been wrestling with the decision for weeks, but admitted the job had taken its toll. These jobs are a privilege, but they are also rightly hard. And especially in the case of First Minister, relentlessly so. Now, to be clear, I'm not expecting violins here, but I am a human being as well as a politician. Even ordinary stuff that most people take for granted, like going for a coffee with friends or for a walk in your own, becomes very difficult. And the nature and form of modern political discourse means that there is a much greater intensity, dare I say it, brutality, to life as a politician than in years gone by. There have been setbacks in recent months, including a clash with Westminster over the gender reform bill. But she said her decision to go was not a reaction to short-term pressures and reaffirmed her commitment to Scottish independence. Individual polls come and go, but I am firmly of the view that there is now majority support for independence in Scotland. But that support needs to be solidified <coughs> and it needs to grow further if our independent Scotland is to have the best possible foundation. To achieve that, we must reach across the divide in Scottish politics. And my judgment now uh, is that a new leader will be better able to do this. At the end, a tribute to Scotland. To all of the people of Scotland, whether you voted for me or not, please know that being your First Minister has been the privilege of my life. Nothing, absolutely nothing I do in future will ever come anywhere close. Nicola Sturgeon will remain in office until a successor is found. But her party must now continue the fight for independence without her. Leila Hayes, 5 News.